Mm-hmm. Okay. So um, today, this is not going to be a uh, software from the grown up session, but we're just going to talk about whatever mm-hmm. we feel like talking about. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There is a there is an interesting topic. So, uh, mm-hmm. something I want, I always want to talk about is that. Um, uh, the challenges, the challenges that developers are facing in terms of finding opportunities, uh, mm-hmm. finding jobs, finding projects to work on, and um, I think that uh, it is partially related to language challenges. I mean, language is a part of it, but I sometimes feel that developers ha- don't have the right approach, or they don't have the right <laughs> attitude towards yeah. uh, <laughs> getting those <laughs> okay. jobs. Yeah. And so that would be be- before, uh, before we uh, go too much further, let's just clarify here. We're mm-hmm. not talking about every developers, right? No. no we talk no. about a very specific group of developers here. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. Uh, the developers that uh, you personally know and you personally mm-hmm. work with. Yes, so yes. Uh, what would you, like, mm-hmm. how would you categorize them? There yeah. are foreign developers, I mean, non-US yes. developers, whatever. Yes, yes. So I would say it's uh, mostly people who live in developing countries and they, okay. they work as uh, programmers, as developers. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, at least uh, they are thinking or maybe they are actively pursuing this idea of uh, going overseas, uh, maybe to US, Europe, uh, Japan, uh, mm-hmm. so to find a job, to right. find some business opportunities, to work on more projects. Um, and I think, I think based on even my experience, and probably that's why I would I would like to 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 ask you about your experiences and your thoughts on this subject, because yeah. I think there is there is quite a lot of uh, how can I say? There are, there are a lot of illusions, illusions people <laughs> often have about... Uh, <laughs> illusions, I like that word. Illusions. Yeah, yeah. So it's just, uh, sometimes I feel, I mean, we, we live in a dream world, you know, like, like they, world. they're going into one direction, but actually <laughs> they need to go in a completely different one. And uh, I'm, not, I'm not actually blaming it, uh, blaming them for, for doing it, but I, I just feel that maybe sometimes they just need a bit of advice or direction, I mean, from people who actually work in this industry. So. Right. And, well, uh, I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, so what are some of the things that you see them do? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I noticed. I noticed that. I mean, obviously, language language is a big part of it because we are uh, non-native speakers. And uh, if you ask me, like for example, my experience and also my professional experience, I can tell you that once you start using English for, for mm-hmm. the projects that you are actively involved in every day, I think it should take only a few months for you to actually to start feeling confident about it. And uh, there would be absolutely i mean obviously everyone learns english and even if it's not your native language you you will learn it forever basically but right but uh the the, the important part is actually to get to the certain level of confidence uh-huh. as quick as possible because simply you don't have much time you you can't take like 20 years and 30 years to, to learn right. So how to do that uh, quickly i mean my my answer to this question would be we definitely need to use it in context because if there is no context, if we are just doing exercises like language exercises, listening to podcasts, it's it's kind of cool. It's it's a hobby. It's nice. It's great, but it doesn't really bring you to the, any 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 point where you start start feeling confident. It's kind of like how I learned Japanese, right? I mean, you know, yeah. I learned Japanese by just trying to uh, you know watch uh, animes here and there. You know, it's like. But that's okay for me because I'm not mm-hmm. using mm-hmm. Japanese yeah, yeah, yeah. professionally, right? Yeah, yeah. And that, that brings me to the next point. So I was talking about language, but mm-hmm. now I'm going to talk about something even more important than language, which is professional skills and communication skills. Because okay. it's obvious that to be able to participate in software projects, you've got to be at certain level of communication skills. Uh, mm-hmm. If you are not... It simply means you will have complete misunderstanding with every business partner, with your boss. Like they will ask you to do one thing, you you, you didn't hear what they mm-hmm. <laughs> ask you to do. You don't know how to ask questions. You don't know how to reply to emails. You don't. So I mean, that's that's a challenging part. But again, again, as I mentioned, so you've got to keep doing that and you got to keep improving yourself and I, I see so many people actually doing and improving and mm-hmm. getting to a very very good level 
without without actually leaving their native country. I mean, they don't have to be in Europe or US. They don't have to have a lot of friends over there. They they just they just keep using language in the context of the actual projects that they are doing. And oh, that, yeah. I um, mean, mm-hmm. clients working mm-hmm. with clients, working with customers, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is so much more powerful mm-hmm. than mm-hmm. if you just try and just say I need to make a friend. Mm-hmm. you know in u.s or something it's like yes you and your friends is never <laughs> going to put a pressure on you for you to have to excel to a particular level mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. Yeah. it's like that that that's you know what's the word forging mm-hmm. basically mm-hmm. it's like yeah. you know in order to forge steel mm-hmm. you gotta have hot fire yes yeah. right and this yeah. fire is what's gonna be missing in things like mm-hmm. language exchange mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, in or in just like say pen pals, mm-hmm. you know, your pen pal is never going to put that fire to you exactly. the way that uh, your customers that will be demanding you to deliver. You know, you can mm-hmm. understand. If you don't mm-hmm. understand, you might lose your job, you might yeah. lose your contract, mm-hmm. whatever, right? It's just a yeah. different level of pressure, basically. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. unfortunately, it's like, you know, we humans kind of need to have that pressure to grow. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> as That's much true. as like a non-pressure situation and everybody is all happy whatever mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we can just do whatever we want and we can all be growing but not really it doesn't really yeah. work that way yeah. yeah so yeah i mean yeah i mean you know I'm, I'm not surprised that you're seeing things like that but this is more of a situation of a, a blind leading the blind though mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know so basically people don't know where they're going so yeah. they're just simply trying to figure out Mm-hmm. What they what they could figure out basically, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and, and this is not to say that so, some of them will succeed. Some mm-hmm. of these blinds, they, they you know, it, it's a, there's a group of people there, you know, what's the term? Auto mm-hmm. didact, didact, yeah. whatever mm-hmm. you pronounce that. People mm-hmm. who self learn. Yeah. yeah, there is a group of people out there who are very capable. As a matter of fact, they prefer to learn this way. That they mm-hmm. want to fumble around themselves. Based mm-hmm. on fumbling around, then figure out, say, okay, are they toward the right direction? Are they toward the right direction? Yeah. And they like that more than if someone was trying to lead them. They don't like it that, that much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. so it's possible for someone to fumble their way through this and become successful on the other end. I mean, for like, say, for example, mm-hmm. startups, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of startups are basically just fumblings. Even the ones that have startup accelerators working with them right right. at the end of the day it's still going to be a Mm -hmm. guess game you still have Mm -hmm. to try to guess who the your Mm -hmm. customers are going to be do they like what you are trying to build it's a it's a bit of a dream i would say right so going back to dreaming (laughs) startups but someone's dreams do succeed though Mm -hmm. and it's Mm -hmm. you know and Mm -hmm. it's the confirmation bias basically Mm -hmm. Mm mm-hmm For people whose a dream succeeded, then mm-hmm. they go like, "Okay, this can work," mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then everyone else see them successful, so they say, "This can work as well. This can work for me," mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I'm gonna try that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, not not, not surprised. So, mm-hmm. but what do you see your these? Um, what do you see these developers do? What do they try to do in mm-hmm. in this dream of theirs? What do they try to accomplish? Yeah, yeah. So uh, it's pretty obvious. I mean, this is the experience that I get every day is that uh, I'm just watching people trying to make connections and also trying to talk to each other in, in, in order to improve their English. So that's, mm-hmm. that's, that's the idea. Okay. Now, even though, even though I naturally support this and I naturally would say, yes, of course, I mean, the more people you talk to, the more situations you have the more context you have it's it's fantastic i mean ideally you should be doing that all the time every day right Mm -hmm. but sometimes i feel that it these conversations they simply lack context because even if i get uh, on skype with people i know and people i sort of like i mean they're my friends but like unless unless we have a topic or unless we have some kind of project to work on, uh, it would be very difficult to just talk about like stuff, you know, like like what exactly should we talk about? And uh, yeah, some I people think... are very good at that, by the way. Some people yeah, are very yeah, good at the yeah. small talks. I know yeah. that I am not. 
Mm, yeah, I, I mean, it could be fun. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not denying that it could be fun because sometimes like even like a simple conversation with a person of a different culture, it actually adds to your understanding of like how the culture works. But eventually you will have to figure out some topics, if you, if, especially if you want to talk to them like tomorrow, next day and so on, because otherwise it becomes like a burden on <laughs> both sides. That's true. And, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And that, uh, I mean... This is still this is still better way compared to English lessons because this one I would definitely separate from what we are talking about because English lessons are simply just just kind of ways to embed some vocabulary or grammar into your head. I mean the traditional style of English lessons and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it doesn't work at all in my experience. I was I was learning English for so many years and I had absolutely no progress on communication skills until I actually started to. I mean, first, first thing that I understood is that there is a huge difference between the learning the language and communication skills in that language, using that language. And once you switch from learning to using it, then obviously you will start making progress. But to do so, you have to have find the context, because if there is no context, it just becomes very difficult to make that progress. It's very true. I think that is. I think that is true. So, mm -hmm. I mean, this is what we're doing, right? We're doing software from the ground up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you know, not to uh, you know, pal on backs here, but uh, you know, perhaps your the friends that you know would consider joining our group. Yeah. And yeah. by joining our group, then they can now have a chance to actually have a context in mm -hmm. which that they can practice. Mm -hmm. English and not just English but also basically mm -hmm. professional yeah communication skills. communication skills right mm -hmm. 